do you get confused while studying series and parallel combination of capacitors and if you are looking for some shortcut tips and tricks here I am to help you out with series and parallel combination of capacitors let's look into the series combination first in series combination one capacitor is connected after another and after another so forth and so on and in series combination the total charge that flows through each of the capacitor remains same whereas voltage across individual capacitors do vary from capacitor to capacitor but total charge remain constant the formula for series combination of capacitor is given by 1 by c equivalent is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 and so on but if only two capacitors are connected in series then their equivalent capacitance can directly be calculated using c equivalent is equal to c1 c2 by c1 plus c2 now in case of parallel combination of capacitors the charges in individual capacitors do vary but the total potential in the system remains constant so in case of parallel combination the capacitors just gets added numerically 